forsaken. Abandoned to the dark, what choice but to follow the flame? To seize the world with this fire is to see it burn first. Welcome on back everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 16 of our Astrodoth Iron Hand and Bottle of Bias campaign. In today's episode we are here to uh, stand in defense of the homeland. We've got a very, very tattered force from our last battle with the Dawi. Uh, but we're going to try to go ahead and force out their weakened armies as well. So they have a couple. We'll go ahead and start the battle and actually throw it into slow mo so you can see what they've got. We'll pause it real quick. Because they'll, they'll charge right over here after us. They've got some gyrocopters, a couple of flame cannons. And these guys aren't iron. Oh, they are iron breakers. That's a little bit unfortunate. So they've got iron breakers, hammerers, and then a couple of heroes. So we are going to be doing our best to deal with first the gyrocopters. And then circles going after the enemy uh, enemy artillery there. You go after those flame cannons. They should have to just have to advance a little bit. We're going to keep our overseer back here a smidge. And then all of our... Skirmish boys get to come on in here and do some, do some work. Oh, I actually got a, a kind of a diagonal shot through several of them. Several choppers already laying on the ground, destroyed. I think we need you on the single shot going after the flame cannon. Just gotta keep them moving. They'll start letting their arrows fly. Can't get hit by those flame cannons though, so fall back. So keep you guys keep falling back for now. We'll go ahead and come back in here. Drop the danger noodles. Have them just chop their way through. I like that it immediately hit one of them. That's that's perfect. I get back towards. That's the choppers dealt with. We'll go ahead and circle to shooting holes in those iron breakers next. Give them the old Rathazar. Would love to see the oil be flammable, but I'm sure that'd be, be a little bit too much. Thank you, Danger Noodles. We'll bring them around. In fact, Red Bull, you go stamp out the engineer. Hobgoblin Akazaz, do your thing. Mop some. Let you fly forward, so dropping bombs. You don't necessarily want to take any uh, explosives from the Iron Breakers. Drop I should love here. We just barely missed them. Oh, we clipped a couple of their bottles, which means we do get some damage. Fall back a little bit more here. No reason to take that. Those hits. We're dropping bombs here on these poor fools. And bombs will out a little bit, a little bit early. Get away from the hammers. That might have been a clever move on their part. Speaking of clever move, not so much on my own. All right, bulls back into the air. We can have you just keep following around these hammers. Boys are a little bit too close. Keep following and let's drop the bomb there. And there we go, a direct hit. All right, they're done. Keep falling back away from the. Iron Breakers. Try to get your shot there. These hammers look done to me. One more cannonball for good measure. Let's not get hit by any hammers. That's a that's a free dodge for you boys. There we go. Let's go ahead and charge these iron breakers. Now they're getting shot up by artillery. Let's not do that. You go ahead and land there and you turn and shoot this guy in the back. Sounds great. Your friend's back. <laughs> Trying his best to duel with the bull. Hells of the boys rotate. That nice full surround on him with a cannonball in the back. The boys bully a dwarf lord. 
Nazi. I always, I always believed in you. The Red Bull rampage his way across this poor engineer. Trouser leg uh, ceremony. This is much worse. The ceremony of the Red Bull. All right, not only a victory, a decisive one. Hang on now, these hammers didn't make it out. I have witnessed my uh, wolf boys ride them down. That's some shenanigans. They managed to shade step their way out of there. Oh, uh, we got a little bit of labor out of that. Actually, a lot more than I expected. Uh, let's go ahead and... Ooh, such a tough call. Let's take the gold. Oh, good. Masha and Hals Cub. I was saying I didn't think the orcs would come on in and look at there. It's time to throw hands with some orcs, and they are just- oh, this is our convoy, that's why. That makes sense. So they think they can handle it. You didn't even bring words. Like they do have some Doom Divers, which is a little bit concerning. We have no artillery, but we do have the Danger Noodles we can just summon in behind them, so... Is it a concern? Not really. Let's do the thing. All right, can't say I'm surprised they put the reinforcement uh, blip behind us, but I am disappointed. Uh, let's go ahead then, and we are going to have our units. Oh, they already set me up in the, the same formation as last time? Perfect. Well, we'll set up. We will then just change this thing a little bit here. We're going to grab these guys and kind of drag them over a bit. I think with most of our speedy boys, we can deal with this main group. If not, this might have a little bit of a struggle to it, but what we're going to do is have the Rothzar warriors together. Well, the blunderbuss is a lot closer this time. These guys are still going to be catching any dancing clowns. This time, though, we'll have the hobgoblins on the flanks. Perfect. And then we'll have all of the, the big nasties. Except for maybe the War Shrine Mammoth. Is it resistance? Yeah, we're going to bring the War Shrine Mammoth and keep it over here with this squad. Uh, so we'll just kind of stick it right here. It's not getting the main brunt of the attack. We're going to try to drag this squad over here. Uh, but we're just going to leave them with mostly only the infantry and... Our lord is on a... That's just a Red Bull, right? Just a very ornamented and, and armored up Red Bull. Looks insane. I'd love to see almost a... A style of cavalry that has a Red Bull. So they get a monstrous cavalry. Maybe Infernal Guard riding on their backs? I don't know. Something along those lines. All units. Alright, so let's do the shields on the inside. Great axes on the outside. This one doesn't really matter so much. Then these three big nasties are gonna go cause some problems. All right, glorious. And I will keep our our lord in with the squad. Also, group them in different groups the way they're easier to keep track of. And then everyone over here pretty much in guard mode. All right, let's get them. Advanced about there, and then everyone else. Get shot at by some magic, fair enough. You tell him. Alright, so man eaters and Kimry War Sphinx, you were in charge of Savage Orc Poor Boy Biggins. Ribdis, you go with them, because those are actually kind of nasty. You three, take down those river trolls. We're gonna blast them with some fire, too, to weaken their uh, regeneration. Lord. You pretty much do the same, because then you should start blasting nonsense your way. Having a hit with all of it, that's fine. We can regenerate. Not really that worried. Alright, Fluffy, you slow down just a little bit. Same thing with you there, War Sphinx. We want to kind of draw them in. Let's go more armor for everyone fighting the Boar Boys. They're a little bit more dangerous. They're not about to be, but they, they think they're more dangerous. Alright. Wrath is away. Four guys in. Oh, don't run. There's no escape. Wrath of Zara to get rid of this big group. Come on. There we go. 
big damage. Now we proceed to feast. Huge mistake fighting this convoy. It's full of monsters. How much time we got? 19 seconds. Shaman's actually doing a pretty decent job of dodging and hit. Uh, man ears, you try to push through here. First man ears can just fight these nasty sculptures fine. Hydra, you and the Vargals come in to beat down on this war boss while everyone else comes through after the, the biggins. Get that shaman. Ata football. Aba football. Here they come. And they set those doom divers to work immediately, didn't they? All right, here I got something for you. Don't worry. Could rip apart those goblins with a quickness. Then we'll drop the doom of a shut here. It's greetings, fool. All right, in they march. Shotguns, get ready. A little bit of an angle that I don't like. You guys starting to get ready to fire? There we go. That's some good shots. Should absolutely delete that unit. All right, everyone else did a fantastic job as well. Let's come on back. Man Eaters, your job is going after these pump wagons. Big boys, you go after the biggins, and then pretty much everyone else is coming after the trolls. Oh, really? A few of you guys are still alive back here. All right, fair enough. Now we can deal with that. Man Eaters, you turn. Make sure we're being clever. We'll bring in your fire breath and blast it into. Uh, these Savage Org Biggins. Just barely out of range of our shotgun, so let's go ahead and change that. Hobgoblin Akazaz, you move up a bit. There we go. Oh yeah, Pump Wagon safety. That's absolutely right. Well, we might get some friendly fire if we're not careful. Go ahead and blast these trolls next. This will just advance slowly here. Armor of Contempt up the uh, Mammoth, who's putting in some serious work. Uh, warriors, you go help this direction. I mean, they're about to have all the support, but we might as well make sure they've got plenty more. Cannons on in. Rip as you deal with these pump wagons. It should be an easy task for you. Alright, the Shaman and everyone else dealt with back here. Bring you on back to help out with the uh, trolls here. Shotguns, you're way too close getting shot at my brothers. War Mammoth, you come back just a wee bit as well. We'll walk right back into the shells, which is going to be a good nightmare for them. Alright, so how we'll have you blast your breath into the Savage Orcs. Turn and help out the Charybdis. Everything back here is broken, so we'll go around and do the same. Oh, nice friendly fire. You missed the baddies entirely. Right, move in. Move in quickly. Archers go after the Savage Orc Biggins. That is shotguns uh, cooking. I right, blend right through them and keep moving. All the uh, trolls are coming back, so let's turn and engage. We're annihilating this back line. Uh, man eaters with great weapons go for the pump wagons. Everything else, come on in. Oh, you poor orcs. Back up here. You tried. Still gonna get you though, don't worry. Oh, the poor lad only survived this single volley. 
he wasn't quite so hard, was he? All right, well, that's a victory. We're going to round up as many of these clowns as we can, and I will catch you all in a moment. All right, in the conclusion of what is probably my favorite battle in the entire campaign so far, that was awesome. We do need some artillery with this group, so hopefully we can send them over to... I need to kind of figure out where we're on the map that it, the, uh, probably... Or Kaon or one of the other Warriors of Chaos, maybe we get a Hellcan out of it, even though we're the ones that reduce those? I don't know. Let's go ahead and grab the extra... Now nah, you guys are fine, right? No replenishment? You're super champions. We'll take the, the labor, thanks. <laughs> Alright, they stole my potion of speed? What absolute bastardos. Alright, fair enough. That's what happens. We slain a whole bunch of enemies. Actually, single-handedly probably just crippled... Uh, the bloody hands. Although they've got a couple armies over here. Now they're all moving after it. They're all chasing our convoy. That's great. And also what's great is Scarbrand likes us. That is a very good opportunity for some Exalted Bloodletters, which I am 100% here for. Competent Protecta. The ice, the ice Court is gone. Oh, Kata Kadrin, you guys are declaring war on me. You've got bigger issues to worry about. Angry trees and a bunch of berserkers and even some trolls. Got now a substantial income. Exactly right, we get money. And then, uh... Ooh, do we need a rail network? Listen, we need to pull up our province tab here. It might be time to start pivoting towards... making a whole bunch of armaments and things, but I would still like to get a couple of towers up to tier 5. I realize I'm not playing a Civ or Age of Wonders. Now I can't move the screen around by clicking and dragging. Going up to tier five or, or tier uh, four already. That is, Great Hall of Greece is looking nice. Is this going to be raw materials for the manufactory? We're only producing the one mine there, so with really upgrading, that's not useful just yet. Attack Azorn could be something we go for. That's going to be for gold. I mean, we've got a couple of tier five towers. With Who's Gulak in the Saber Mountain so far? Challenge done up in the far north, Blade Rock, and then the Sculpted Delta going up to tier 4 as well. I think what we'll do is we'll take uh, the Flayed Rock up to 4, get those gun turrets, that way it's easier to defend, and we can just kind of leave it and defend against just hordes and hordes of undead. Gorndok. Hello there, Hobgoblins. I don't know how well you guys are going to do against Helmet, then maybe just be handing them a, a win. Ugath is coming back to claim the... We actually, Bregny, can you come on down here and go up to the Shatterstone Bay? Good boy. Very much like to get rid of this camp. Close victory? We'll take any kind of victory here. Really? See, no, I think we can do much better than that. Hobgoblins without Gordos are not nearly as, as scary as uh, they seem like they would be. They, they're just big, tough goblins. No, I think we can do much better. What kind of spells do you have? Just the Dance Macabre and heals. Let's get, uh, get some more battles in here. Shatterstone Bay, prepare to meet Vragni the Scourger and his many green friends. Alright, let's get to it. We've got our three Hobgoblin Archers. We're going to set them up all on the one side. I'm going to drag them very wide, and then I'm going to try to keep them kind of grouped. This never tends to work for very long, but we'll try. I'm going to keep the other group hidden in the woods, ready to rush out if these uh, bats come on over. We are going to go for a bit of a sneaky get. What we can really do with them is just kind of keep them up front. They'll spend all their daggers and draw the enemy back into our cutthroats. Which will kind of group up a little bit, that way the archers can fire through in some cases. Let's do small group of archers here and here. Overseer ready to rush in and cause some issues. Alright. Actually, the uh, small fuzzy critters of doom are throwing hands real quick in the room, so I'm going to go ahead and sort out their issues. We'll get right back to this battle. Alright, and we're back. Duel averted. Let's get the battle going. We'll just advance them a little bit. We'll have these guys kind of slowly come on back. 
bats get too close, they're going to get completely blanketed in knives, which is going to see them disappear at once. When Shorge in here will bring the fiery Akazas up. Look how well the knives are working. I'd love to see a little bit of a change to the uh, skirmish units, that way they don't waste their their shots, because they seem to all fire at the same unit, the units that have fire at will or fire while moving. You'll see here, they'll, they'll all fill their daggers at the same unit. Oh my, just a little bit here. Didn't do a terrible job of blanketing the line. I fall back. You guys come on around and start bothering the Lord. In fact, speaking of bothering the Lord, hello, Danger Noodles. Keep bringing the sneaky gets back. They come along the back here. We'll just wait for those bats to try to drop in on someone and we'll drop armor of contempt on them. That looks like a big blob of zombos to me. Just the first volley of fire there. I know that I told you boys to keep falling back. Gonna try to land on the archers. You love to see it. In fact, we'll go ahead and just armor pimp here. No oh, thanks, bats. We will pass. Set them up. Go ahead and give them a charge. We do better on the charge than uh, than not. Let's surround this unit. Same thing here. I'll be let these guys get caught. I didn't think they would pull half of their army back to go after our. Uh, or skirmish boys, it's impressive. But not for the ways they might think. It's a big blob here, but I'd prefer actually to get these guys. So what we'll do is we'll charge these skelly warriors, which seems like a bad idea. See if we get both of you to come back. Really? Alright, well we just we just won the charge is what happened. You guys keep falling back then. We'll just catch the Grave Guard. There looks good, so we'll just let them. And sure, Jim took a little bit of damage, but that should be fine. Go back a bit, so you guys don't get hit by the. Or we'll delete our own unit. That works too, I guess. Grave Guard shrugged it off. Try to get too sneaky, and things don't ever work out right, do they? Well, their necromancer's gone, which means their their cohesiveness is going to break up pretty soon, too. Drop a ball through here. Give me any of our own hobgoblins we take out. That's alright, they're hobgoblins, they like it. And that's that. Glorious. Hello, Victory, what are you talking about? We lost no one. Decisive. Alright, decisive win under our belt. 70 labor. I guess it's hard to bring back rotting corpses as labor. Alright. We will absolutely sack the settlement. Leave it for Kugath, who will build it up for us, or for us to sack it later on, which I think will be quite glorious. He likes us quite a bit, but I think no one can control the south but us. Plus, there's a uh, lumber down here, so any kind of raw materials I also think belong to the Drazar. Also, Frogny, you have done well. Let's go ahead and drop you into an amp uh, raiding stance. Oh, speaking of, hello, Greasus. Why is Greasus here? I'm sorry, what? No one kills the over tyrant. I am the most confused. He ran down this way then to, to escape us through to, to trespass through both of these instead of going back towards one of the. What on? Or maybe he was trying to sneak around to hit Shambletown. Some weird Astrogoth tactics coming out of the big boy here. Well, let's go ahead and move uh, Astrogoth back around and hit Scrap Towers. He has more armies he wants to fight us with. I dare him to try something. Yeah, that should be a no losses auto resolve. Glorious. A little bit of health loss. And then we'll go ahead and occupy this back as a outpost. No, I don't care so much if we lose it. Uh, we'll repair here. Shambletown getting hit is a little unfortunate, but 
Uh, we are going to cleave through with Astrogoth, make sure that they're, these undead are done. Greece. Now we can also get Greece in here, too. Ragni, in fact, because I don't really want to lose you yet, let's pull back to the Scrap Towers, even if you can take a little bit of attrition. That way, at least you can act as reinforcements. So even if Hellman goes after you here, everyone's going to work together. Bring it on, Mayo boy. Let's do Blade Master, and then I think we'll probably go for Spell Resistance for our heroes just to make sure they're not getting sniped by any spear leeches. Or at least if they are, they're not taking as much damage from it. Let's go ahead and snag the uh, better scales, and then we'll go for his replenishment, start finally working on his, uh, his actual army. Crosses are weak, huh? Let's do Fervent Fodder, and then two points into a replenishment. Exactly. Telavaz, get King Lun. Auto resolve this one, no problem, and that's a, a Demon Slayer dealt with. Even if you took out a fair bit of health just for, just for what he was. 80 labor, too. Man, that Dobby were willing to work real hard. Alright, Ungram has gone back in March. If he tries to take the Blasted Expanse, I don't think we mind that much. Don't think so. Don't think so. Earl, you are rocking artillery, Red Bulls. Now we can we can easily handle. Let's turn around and just defend here. We will take the Howling Rock with uh, another wave of um, Goblinos. Uh, so instead of goblin laborers, we're just going to fill up on armor-piercing orc laborers, which we can send into the front line. Uh, we have one more sneaky gets, and then we'll get make sure everything else is nice and cheap. So yeah, we'll just swarm them with cutthroats. Um, goblin cutthroats. I'll leave that as is. Defenses in Krakvrag are not necessarily needed. We need defenses. It's probably on the southern port of the map, southern parts of the Mountains of Morn, or over here, which we have already upgraded to the max where we can. Here at Saber Mountains, Let's go ahead and get the iron level on in just so we have access to our, our highest tier units. And from here. Temple of Hush, another Temple of Hushut, or just continue to upgrade our towers, one or the other. We're getting up there quite a ways in our Conclave influence. We need 600 to confederate one of the other factions. And I think we're going to go ahead and actually grab the Warhost of Tsar first. And then secondary, we're going to grab the Masters of the Conclave. And then by then, we may just be able to even confederate up with uh, the Legion of Asgore through natural means. All right, Hellforge, we're going to go ahead and save on you for now. More blunderbusses would, or fireglaives would be amazing, but let's, we're going to save so I can send out more of these raw materials in our convoys here. Oh, we have plenty of turns. Never mind. Hang on. I have not changed my mind. That's wrong. Give me my Hellforge. I will go ahead and grab... Let's say a few more blunderbusses. Let's go ahead and get up to four of those guys. Then we can even have just two armies, probably a max of two in each army, or just a baseline unit is uh, just about what we need. Nothing else to build there, because we're going to be holding the line. The of Gorgoth, we are just waiting to have the gold force. So let's go ahead and get the Fane Guard health to make sure we don't lose. Browser with claiming some positions, which is perfect. We're being pushed back by Oh good Amrix back. That is beneath me. Alright, Jamak, time to run. They've got Darkhold. Yeah, so let's draw them back into Friendly draws are, so we're just gonna fall back. Run aggressively. At a dock stock. Exactly, at a dock stock. Oh, can you not confederate with him like this? I see. Well, that makes sense. 
Uh, we can go ahead and make friends with the exiles who have 12 settlements right now. Hashut's hatred cannot defeat Korn's rage. You wanna bet? Hatred. For now, though, we'll have Hatred and Fury be on the same team. Scaling clan, and no one else really wants to trade. Jacket Horn Tribe does want to be a defensive alliance, but I, I don't think so. All right, sweet. Well, we're pretty much out of all our goodies. Let's check on our labor economy here. Because we did drag back quite a few souls after those fights. Uh, but we're just kind of sitting on the precipice enough where I'm not going to go ahead and send anyone back. We'll keep what we have for maybe another couple battles, and then we'll, we'll take, a, take a look. But our manufacturing, do we get some more missile infantry upgrades? We've got black powder, so as long as they have 80% more... Or more ammunition, I guess. They have more damage. By a pretty hefty chunk. Well, I mean, don't mind if I do. 24? That's not bad at all. Cannot afford activation costs. Oh, you got me. I need 24. So next turn. Fair enough. We can wait. Alright, Gordos, let's get that last uh, bit of bit of upgrades here. Get him uses 30% more speed and 25 charge bonus. So useful. Sorcerer Prophet of Death. We'll go ahead and give the Magic Reserves, Earthing, and then Arcane Conduit. Doomless. Just go all in on defense for Franklin, and then we'll grab Living Metal Flesh as soon as we're allowed to. Draft Doomless. All right, Sindras, we're going to send you to steal some tech from the Fortress of Orag. Hooray. Glorious. He left the place a smoldering pile. Let's just use this. Ramar, what are you up to? Playing a spy. Can we have you deal with this master engineer? Ooh, there's a higher chance of getting our thing, so let's go after him. Oh, you succeeded. He's wounded, so not, not assassinated, but that works for me. He's going to be out and out of the count for quite some time. We'll give him a point into instead of specialists, let's go for assassinate. We can try to use him to take out even more heroes. Losing that thing is really not good for them though. We'll go ahead and grab, I guess, the raw material smelter here, the gold banner. We got we got so much cash. We don't need gold panner. What am I talking about? We need armaments. So let's come on in and grab a gunsmith. Perfect. Leave everything else as is. Swing on over to Earl here. Watch watch Ungram and the Iron Pick. Iron Fist versus the Iron Pick. Alright, a quick wave down. A painstaking section of your convoy's route has required the cavalcade to limber up an unexpectedly steep mountain, putting it behind schedule. Once reaching the pinnacle, the convoy master scouts a quicker route down the other side, which would make up for lost time. Given the sheer weight of the convoy's consignment, however, the shortcut would make for a perilous descent, which may result in some damaged goods. 50 cargo. Well, after all the, the work we've had, let's not go ahead and uh, lose any of our cargo. That'd be a shame. Looks like his strategy is, I didn't have enough guys before, so I'm gonna bring in another army. That's fun. I thought, of course, I mean cowardly. Come on now, Ungram. I thought you were better than that. Two convoy contracts. We'll get Jamar. It's time for you to go after Harak then. Oh, yeah. Turns out he would fail. Alright, to the law, it's time for you to conquer Howling Rock then, and we'll hopefully be able to get up here in time to defend Earl. He's got some pretty nasty stuff, so we'll, we'll see. A lot of resolve here. Almost lose our great Taurus. Ooh, sack it for the 500 labor. Yes, please. And then we'll turn back around and give it the old outpost treatment. Now onward to the Silver Pinnacle. Here we'll just go for the money pit and be nice and uh, arrogant. 
factory compound, which we could probably rush along. Would give us how many extra warriors? We're currently sitting at one warrior and three laborers. They would just flip that around. Four warriors and one laborer. It's actually quite a bit better. We would need how much to rush? 360. Uh, that we can easily do, so we need to bring us over here to the Blasted Wastes. Be able to snag the labor from the Scalded Delta. Perfect. That we will immediately finish up construction on our compound here. So then... Now we're good there. Drash we can demolish that and make sure we have plenty of extra armaments just in case. There's no reason. Overseer's camp. They're just so expensive. Let's get that last point into heals for the squad there. Make them able to shrug off battles that would ripple most others. Almost able to get those raw materials up and running here. For the temple. It's barely off. 39.50 is what we need. We could easily snag that if we were to just grab the rail network here. Maybe not the rail network, but um, the donation barrel. Tithe chamber. Raid challenge done would cost 2700 Actually, this is just barely enough. So yeah, that works for me. We don't need the guardhouse of the challenge stone. Of course, that's when Archaon decides to stab us in the old back. Get the tannery in here and upgrade our weapons workshop. Oh wait, never mind. That takes more raw materials, so we shall not. Oh, hello there, Golden Order. See, it was only a matter of time. We need to finish off some of these other factions quickly. Thor just decided to stay in there, did he? You're going to turn around and go after Belly Gut the Toe Jammer. Drop in the underway, that way you can take care of them without losing too many. You should just be able to auto-resolve Gorst's uh, stinky self. Come here, bud. Making this more difficult than it needs to be. Lost 46. We'll go ahead and take the labor. Absolutely. Season campaigners. That's perfect. Man, Astrogoth is an absolute doomstack by himself now. After taking out uh, Kolek, he gained, what, the 20 additional bonus v large? So he's up to, yeah, 20 bonus versus large. Which is more than most heroes gonna have just for start. Let's cut across here to the Nobly Gorge. And then from there, we should be able to take down Haunted Forest. And then it's absolutely time to get ready for the invasion of both Cathay and the Golden Order. Uh, so, good deal of gold for... ...for sacking. Perfect. Put ourselves in a little baby, uh, Scarbrand. And here we're gonna go for the factory, that way we can put in the better walls. For 11 scrap towers is, uh, back under our control. Really? Kukath, are you not at war? No, he just had to take the weird way up. He got uh, played like I have several times in our campaigns. Alright, perfect. Well, I think that's going to be about all the time I have got for today. Uh, thank you all so much for stopping by today's Astrocall Iron Hand campaign. If you enjoyed the video, uh, remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub with the sub throne, and I will see you all in the next one. Boop.